All right, welcome back. I guess we'll talk to the fine folks. Except for this guy. This guy's a douche. So, what? Are you here to gloat? Should. Gamlin's the idiot again. He is. Gamlin's the fool who can't hold his money when it's given in a bloody silver basket. I tried, you know, when Leandra left. But no one was ever going to live up to her. So, the best way to make Daddy love you was to steal his money. I changed their filthy sheets and wiped their chins through two bouts of the cholera, and the last word Father said was... Leandra. I'm not looking for love, but at least I got the money. And here I was, just about to like you. Can I kill this guy, or... Is that out of the question? Alright. Let's go talk to Mother. When I told your grandmother I was marrying your father, she threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life. Let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. Grandmother didn't want you to leave. She tried holding on to you the only way she knew. She would have been so proud of you. You're everything she wanted in an Amel grandchild. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first, but she would have loved you. All three of you. Carver. He was such a little boy. Never had a knee that wasn't scraped or trousers without holes. The last thing Carver would want is more crying. I just keep thinking there's something we could have done. It's killing me. I, I remember that awful creature reaching down at 18 years of loving and feeding and raising and... That was it. Blame the Darkspawn, not yourself. The ogre would have been happy with any prey. It was my fault it was Carver. I miss him. There were four of us when the blight began. It will never be over while there are just three. I've written to the Viscount. I have an audience for after Bartran's expedition leaves. I couldn't do anything for Carver. But with luck, I could at least give us a home. Okay. So now what do I do? We got a door here, we got a little room over here. Not much going on, so I guess I'll just leave. There's two doors, actually. This one leads to a new, another room. Which is... Apparently he is, uh, late on some payment. I think this is the same cheese that was here a year ago. Awesome. Well, I guess we'll just leave the home, then. See what that gets us. Can still only take the same three people. So why the hell not? Uh. All right. Why is there like a little letter there? That's weird. I don't know. Maybe I should uh <clears throat> investigate further on why there's a little letter here. It is odd. The only person I haven't talked to is Bethany. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamelin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I would never turn against you. You're a better person than Gamelin could ever be. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. I wish they had lived long enough to see us come home. Home. That's what it is, isn't it? I like saying that. We're not running away again. We're coming home. We are going to make this our home, Bethany. I promise you. I hope so, brother. I'm so very tired of running. Okay, well, I don't think that gave much. Well, it gave us friendship with Bethany, but... Other than that, there's not much going on here. So, alright. 
let's check the quest log then. See if there's any main quests that I missed. Actually, I just went into inventory instead of journal, so that's great. Uh, business discussion. Still gotta do these three things. Find a way to become a partner. Okay, bring 50 sovereign. Okay, we'll forget that for now. Um, ah, let's just do a business discussion then. Let's just do that. Let's get out of here. Oh, great. We have to... We have to pick again. Like, it was a mystery as to who I was gonna pick. This is... Okay. So, I have to go to Low Town. And then I don't know if I can just... Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know if you can just travel there, like, quickly, or if you have to actually walk to it and find it. I guess we'll see. Guess we'll find out once we actually manage to get there past this loading screen. <clears throat> Which is, uh, fun. This is, this is great fun at a loading screen. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go find this exclamation point. If these are my off-duty hours. And the trend of you scaring the piss out of me continues. Those miscreants have made a lot of people angry. If they met an untimely end, I'm certain us simple guards would never figure it out. Okay, so... Clearly, we have to go kill someone. But for now, there's this little arrow. I don't know if that got changed to be my main quest, or... Or the active quest, I should say. Swindler. I guess so. Not a step closer. No refunds on the ashes, friend. If the maker doesn't favor you, that's between you and him, isn't it? Okay. I guess we'll just be attacking these guys then. I guess we'll just be. Holy crap, this is loud. Wow, those guys didn't stand a freaking chance. That's ridiculous. This guy's got completely raped. How many guys are there? Okay. Get rid of that guy. The main dude. We'll get rid of his little... Little... Co oh, where would these guys come from? Hey, hey, what are you doing over here? Oh, that's my guy. Never mind. Sorry. Saw a dwarf and I was like, yep, uh, get him. Stalker's boar hide? Oh, whatever. Awesome. Good deal for me. Just come and beat the shit out of like four guys in a corner. It's, it's great. Don't mind if I do. Hey, what's up? The thieves are gone, guardsman. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. And clumsy me. I seem to have dropped a coin purse in your hand. Well, doesn't that just worked out? Worked out. Doesn't that just work out, present tense? What's in this barrel? I'll take it. Alright. Let's see. Try and leave the area. Residential district. I don't know if that would be it. Let's see. I, uh... That's definitely not here. So we can try and leave the area and see if I can just travel to it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to walk to it try and figure it out that way, which I'm not looking forward to. <clears throat> if that has to be done, yes, because access by low town. Wait. Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> so we're just going to have to go find it. We are just going to have to go find it. And I completely suck ass with directions, so... Sweet, more money. What is this? Ferelden Imports. Pass. So let's go. Let's go look for this area. I wonder if that's in the residential district. Oh, here it is. Never mind. What am I doing? It's right here. I must have missed it on the map. Haven't I been in here before? Or is that where the guy? I think that was where the guy told us to go. What is that? That really looks like a person. <laughs> that's kind of gross. That is kind of gross. 
I don't know why they're showing that to me. Alright. Let's talk, Varric. So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartrand can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. I've fought Darkspawn, but I've never been to the deep roads. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there... It's